Hey, may I ask uh, how you feel having David Ojabo here on the team with you? Uh, I feel good, man. That's my longtime friend, you know, since high school. Um, you know, he's gotten me through a lot of stuff. I got gotten me through a lot of stuff as well. So, you know, it feels good to finally be in the league with him and, you know, get a chance to craft and, you know, really just grow his men. So, I feel good. How are you feeling physically after the offseason surgery and everything else? Yeah, obviously I had surgery uh, in January, so I'm um, a few months out. But uh, I feel good. I feel good, you know. I'm just trying to strengthen it, take it day by day, and, you know, I'll be out there soon. Right. Just how uh, physically, how much better do you feel entering compared to where you were a year ago as you working where everything is new? Um, I feel like, you know, just, you know, just the knowledge of things that I didn't know, you know, rookie year, things I didn't know I didn't even know, um, you know, uh, in the classroom, in terms of my body being more prepared, even though I had the, the shoulder thing, I feel like, you know, everything else is, it's, it's, you know, I'm farther ahead than I, where I was, you know, rookie, rookie camp, all that stuff. So, you know, I just feel better as an athlete. And then obviously being a, a, a good outside linebacker, I feel good as well. What are your early impressions of Mike McDonald? Uh, you know, I, lo I love Coach Mike already. You know, when I first got here, he laid it down to me and told me, you know, what he expected of me and, you know, what he wanted. He wanted me here and everything. So, you know, I'm buying in. Um, I, I think a lot of the other guys are buying in as well. And, you know, I saw what he did with David, you know, one of my, my friends and everything. And so I'm cool with it, man. I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm, I'm full go. Let's go. I don't think the shoulder something bothered you all last year. Oh. Uh, you know, it, it kind of bothered me a little bit, but, you know, coming from Penn State, you know, growing up, where I've grown up, you know, you learn to play through stuff like that and, uh, you know, not even think about it to the end. But it definitely, you know, got a little got a little bit, you know, more kind of hectic towards the end of the season. But, you know, I'm good now. We're straight. What's your big takeaway? Uh, where, I mean, there were some really great plays and some great moments during the season. Um, coming into year two, what do you, with all the, I'm sure there are moments like that. What are, you, what are your big takeaways from that? Uh, that basically, I'm just extremely raw, extremely, you know, I'm a potentially, I'm a potential guy, basically. So, you know, I'm looking at the film. I watched the film, you know, last year. And I'm like, oh, I'm di I, did, I did crazy good. I did all this stuff. And then you watch it now after off season, you're like, there's so much stuff you can work on. So, you know, it's just a lot to build. And I'm so excited because I know, you know, even next year or even this year, it's just going to be a crazy jump. So, you know, I'm ready. I doubt that. I know the, it's not a signed deal, but the Ravens are still interested in bringing back Justin Houston. I know you guys were, were pretty close last year. Have you kept in touch with him during this offseason? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we kept in touch. You know, we were um, I think together in the Calif California, like right after our season. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm down for it, whatever. You know, Justin Houston, he taught me a lot last year. Obviously, uh, off, the, off the field and on the field. So, you know, we can you can use all the help we, we can get. So, I'm cool with it. Can you elaborate a little bit on what your expectations are of yourself and what Coach McDonald relates to you? Um, just, you know, dominate more, um, finish, uh, you know, be there more for my team in terms of, like, you know, making the plays that in situations that we need, um, you know, being more aware in terms of things going around uh, around me. Um, I don't want to give you, like, the specifics because, you know, you don't do that. But, uh, you know, just be an overall better player and everything like that. So, yeah. Great to kind of kind of write them down, the goals you just have to do. I write down, put it on the wall, you know, walk past, always see it, hold myself to it. That's the type of guy I am. All right, thanks, Adolfo. Yeah, thanks. All right.